Welcome back to the Football Today podcast brought to you by Betfair, who are on your side this EPL season. I'm your host, Liam McCallion, also known sometimes as Ben Chilwell. Sometimes, very you loosely. You love that reference. I love it. I reckon he's much. a good looking man. He plays for Chelsea. <laughs> I'm just all about that. As always, joined by Marcus Barzano. He's got his Chelsea scarf on. He's very excited. Yeah, big game this weekend. The Blues are in the top four. Against Coming up against Arsenal. The mighty Arsenal. We'll get um, into that. You excited? If we, if we beat them, we can almost stop their title yeah. hopes. Yes. I was it's kind of weird that. to say that in early November. But, but it's a big gap already. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, so we will touch on that. Points. So it's going to be very exciting. Mm. Today, we're going to cover the top football and EPL news across the world. The best Betfair back or lay bets for the EPL matches for Match Week 11, including expert tips from Tony Hargreaves, or as you like to call him, T-Dog. Uh, trivia with Olivia, we absolutely love that. And finish with some quick fire tips, sometimes not quick fire, for every game this weekend. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Football Today Podcast. Follow all the socials, Football Today AU on TikTok and Football Today Australia on Facebook and Instagram. Mm. We're doing a lot of footy numbers. Every, oh, sorry, EPL numbers. EPL numbers. Same side as footy numbers, but EPL numbers. Uh, what's your best? Uh, 40. I reckon, I, think you, I reckon you've uh, cheated there. I reckon you've. I, I want to see it live. Cheat. We might have to do a little short after this. I want to see if you can actually how many you can actually get. Even still, mate, doesn't even have to be a short. <laughs> okay. No pressure. We'll have to have a look. All right, let's get into it. Around the grounds, we're going to have a look at some of the results over the weekend, the Champions League during the week as well. Mm. I'll start off here. We'll start off with City and Arsenal because what is going on there? City yeah. lost to Bournemouth on the weekend, and then during the week they lose to Sporting Lisbon 4-1. Yep, and, so what is and going before on? that they lost to yes. Tottenham in the Cup 2-1. Yeah. What? City so, uh, in the mud. A little bit in that, the mud. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like we said, Rodri was going to be a big out. And, oh, and my God. Looks like it's causing to be. So. Yeah. And Arsenal as well. Wow, like a surprising loss to, yeah. uh, to Newcastle. Losing to Newcastle. Newcastle have been in horror form. Now Arsenal into fifth. Then they lose to Inter Milan in the uh, Champions League this morning. That's not that bad of a loss. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was yeah. pretty harsh as well. They yeah. definitely deserved a point out of that game. Mm. Um, stiff penalty against them and yeah. stiff penalty that they didn't get. Yeah. So. Going back to City just quickly on the um, Sporting Lisbon. Mm. Obviously, their coach is going over to Man U very yeah, soon. Yeah, Ruben Amarum. So they'll be, uh, yeah, Amarum. They'll be so excited, Man U fans going, Sporting Lisbon, who are in a much lower league, much less money than uh, uh, Man City, obviously. Man City, yeah. Uh, They're winning 4 1. And then hopefully he can bring that sort of attacking guidance mm. to Man U and they can start playing better. But I don't know if he's going to, I don't know if it's going to click straight away. What do you think? They're still one of the biggest powerhouses in Portugal, Sporting Lisbon. Yeah. And they've got a good team. Yeah, like, yeah. Goy Carez, who's, who's very good. Yep. Um, he scored a hat-trick against City. Um, in all fairness, two of them were penalties. Yep. So, you know what? Good signs from Manchester United because uh, when Poch left Chelsea, I was kind of hoping Ruben Aberin would be oh, one of the really? likely candidates okay. that we'd get. Okay. Um, didn't turn out to be. Enzo yeah. Maresca got it, and he's, he's thankfully doing it all it's right. Either, it's either going to be really good for Man U or the classic where coaches go to die. That's where it's that's where it's been. A yeah, lot coach's lately. career is just. <laughs> it's like plummet. oh, this guy. We don't like this guy anymore. Yeah, but I, I actually think it's going to be pretty positive. Their team mm. is still not that bad, man. You. We like to talk them down on the show, but yeah, their team is not that bad. If they get a new coach in, they got a might be a right. decent team. Yeah, yeah. Next one, a bit more positive. Not Nottingham Forest oh. are third on the Premier League table. I don't care if you said this in match week one. I don't care if you said this in match after match week ten. No one was saying that Notts would ever be third on the on the Premier League table. Unreal. I think this there, is crazy. There was a uh, there was a graph that showed, I think it was November last year. Yeah. Or when Nuno took over, Notts was seventeenth. Yep. And ten months later. Yeah, they're third. They're now third. <laughs> they're third. With, so uh, they, Chris yeah. Wood with eight and ten. Eight goals in ten games. The Kiwi best shot. A goal conversion rate in Premier League history, pretty much. Yeah, he's, he's, he's literally uh, second unreal. to Erling Haaland in the Premier League goals. He's, he's slowed up as well, hasn't he? He, he has. He has. So, yeah, well, Chris Wood is better than Chris Haaland. Chris Wood confirmed. golden boot winner. <laughs> Gold, he Ooh. could be. A sneaky thing. I, I was thinking probably two or three behind, I think. Might have to have a look uh, at that on, uh, on Betfair. Yeah. But that is really surprising. They smashed West Ham 3 now. West Ham mm. have been so bad. I don't know what yeah. is going on there. Not to just keep finding a way. They've got so many good players. They're just playing their role really nicely. Hudson and Doyle mm. keep scoring. Yep. You've got uh, who scored on the. Oh, Awani is pretty going pretty well. Who yep. scored on Elena the weekend? Was, uh, Elena was a yes, very good yep. defender. Yep. yep, former Chelsea as well. Former Chelsea as well. He yep. he hit it. He said he was knackered. Did you see that interview? Yeah, he's yeah, like, he's... I was just knackered, mate. I just had to. <laughs> uh, I just had to could... hit it as hard as I could and hope for the best. And he's that was like they're like, did you know I was going to go top corner? He's like, eh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he just hit it. He just like hit it. Uh, so not honestly, was... they're my second team at the moment. As long as they avoid. 
a big defeat, they'll have their tails up for a while. And yeah. I think that that can definitely help. Where them. do we they basically confirmed avoid relegation? Yeah. Where do we think's a goal for them now? Do oh, they I know it's now. very it's only like not even a third. It's like yeah, a quarter ten, away. Ten through. games in. Yeah. Um they'll still want to be top half, but they could I think aim top, for half, top eight. Top half top I think eight. is a yeah. yeah is a good good yeah. aim, is a good goal. Like still like you look at Newcastle who are in eleventh. Yeah. They're only four points behind. Yeah. Not even but forest. they're playing better than, obviously, Fulham, Brighton. I'd be backing knots against them. Bournemouth as well. They're just, they're just so consistent at the moment. I can't Brave man to back knots against Brighton. I wouldn't do that. I, I would. I would. Maybe when, whenever they play, I'm gonna, that'll be my bet. Might get a decent payout them. with Betfair. Yeah, maybe. Uh, another one around the grounds. Man U won. Chelsea won. We talked mm. it up as the biggest game. A little bit of a letdown. It was not uh, many highlights. A little highlights. bit very, very <laughs> big letdown, especially considering I stayed up until... F- just yeah, past five o'clock yeah. watching that game. Oh, um, no. I was working at the time, so... Yeah, you crazy. doing work at, like, midnight <laughs> is just wild. <laughs> your, um, your sleeping schedule is all over as well. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a little bit cooked, but, <laughs> but you know, it, was, it was worth it with Caicedo equalising, but... That was a really nice goal, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. The other one was Tottenham 4, Villa 1. I'm just mm. putting in some of the biggest results. Tottenham, they're just so inconsistent. They'll yeah. either smash a team at home, and then when they go away, they'll just crumble. Villa have... Just don't look like themselves the last mm. three or four weeks, or maybe I'd say three weeks. Yeah, haven't looked like themselves. Um, Lost in the Champions League as well. Yep, against Club Bruges this morning. Yeah, so, Club Bruges. Yeah, a little bit of panic stations maybe for yeah. them as well. So Ange, yeah, but Ange will be excited. They're still only seventh, uh, Tottenham, but they've got a bit of a confidence booster there. Four one win. Hundred yeah. percent. Yep. All right. Next one, we're going to go to the best game of the match week. Chelsea have just been featuring this a lot, but there's just been yeah. some big top... The big six have been playing each other a lot lately. Mm. Chelsea versus Arsenal. There was a lot of rivalry in this office. A lot of Chelsea fans. Yeah. A few Arsenal fans that are very mm. up themselves. You love a bit of Chelsea. Stanford Bridge this time. But the biggest news to come out of this game so far is that Cole Palmer, the best player in the world, one of the best players in the world. Probably best player in the best player in the Premier League over Ooh, the past 15, you, 18 months. He'd be up there in the world, though. He'd be up there. Yeah. yeah. He's possibly going to miss this game. He hasn't trained all week. He is the glue to Chelsea winning games. Yeah. Is that good? That's going to be a huge out, isn't Even it? Even Alex was saying, Arsenal fan, he goes, how is Sandro Martinez not get sent off for I that know. challenge? Oh. So uh, obviously, yeah, he got injured from the Martinez uh, t- tackle. tackle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, with obviously the studs to the knee, pulled up oh. a bit sore. Oh. Um, so thankfully, if it is to miss, Might it'll, only just be miss game, yeah. it'll just be this game. Okay. Um, which is a saving grace. And plus, there's an international break coming up, so he oh, might yeah, not yeah. even... He might not even play for another three weeks. Might not play for England. They might rest um, him there and then he doesn't have to play. Yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. True. Uh, but look, obviously it's a big out, but Nkunku or Felix would, would be the ones to, to fill Ooh, that gap. Nice. Um, I prefer Nkunku, but I have a feeling... Is Nkunku lacing up his uh, his little tape on his thing with his little balloon? Little his balloon. Yeah, I hope so. I hope, he, I hope he brings it out <laughs> on the weekend. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I've got a feeling Maresco will bring in Felix. Yeah, Felix. Okay. But this is huge, isn't it? For, is for Arsenal, massive probably game. more so than Chelsea. Yeah, this is... Arsenal probably need a win here to stay in touch with the uh, title race. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got written down here, Blackburn in 1994 are the only team ever to come back from seven or more points down for the title through 10 games. Wow. So That's this, a good stat. This would be... Yeah, I finally brought a stat to wow. the show. There we go. The, this would be the biggest comeback yeah, since 1994, 1994, which... Yeah, it doesn't happen very often, especially when you've got mm. City, especially when you've got Liverpool absolutely firing and under Arnold. Like, like Blackburn in that title race, they're basically only versing Manchester United. Yeah, in, true. In it was race. a bit easier, yeah. Um, yeah. So it was a little bit easier, which obviously makes this Arsenal comeback if they yeah. make it even you've got more Liverpool impressive. Liverpool and because, City to go for. Because, yeah, you've got Liverpool <coughs> and City, and I just think, like, uh, the mid-table clubs in the lower t- lower league um, are getting better than, yeah. obviously, 10, 15 years ago. True. Even 20, 20 years ago now, so... Mm. Um, yeah, they have to have to get. They three have to points. win, but it's going to be tough at Stamford Bridge. I've got some uh, other yep. stats here. Arsenal have won four of the last five meetings. Last mm. season, last meeting was actually an Arsenal win five 0 That was at the Emirates. That was no Palmer as well. He didn't play in that game. No Palmer. So that's a bit of a worry for Chelsea fans. And then a two old draw was the other one at Stamford Bridge. I reckon that could be closer to the result we get this time. And, and who scored there, Stats guy? Uh, I honestly can't remember. The goat. Palmer. Yeah, Palmer. Palmer. I know Palmer. Yeah, the I can't remember the other scorer? one. 
The goats. Oh, Mudrick. Mudrick. <laughs> Mudrick. Mudrick store. The goat. Sorry. You're, yeah, you're yeah, goat. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you love a bit of Mudrick. I, was I like, love him. I was like thinking Palais. <laughs> Is it Palais? 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 <laughs> he's serious. I was the goat. Yeah, Maradona. Yeah. Did, he, did he play that game? I wish. <laughs> um, Chelsea, uh, in the current form, unbeaten in the last six home games across all competitions. Mm. Started a bit shaky at home because we, I think we yeah. drew to Crystal Palace. But yep. since then, they've been really good. So they've yep. been pretty happy with that. Arsenal winless in their last three league games. So mm. that's what's cost them that shot at the title so far. So I'm a little bit worried there. Let's go goal scorers. Who do we reckon? Obviously, uh, we can't we can't pick Cole Palmer for once. Every time Chelsea goes <laughs> like, yeah, yeah Cole I'll, Palmer. I want to go Mudrick. I so want to go Mudrick. He might even play. Oh, he might come off the bench. Uh, I'll go. I'll go. Go Mudrick. I'll go Jacko. Yeah, Nicholas Jackson. Jacko Raban. Very yeah. nice, Nicholas. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind that. I for oh, Jackson to think. five. Who else could be up? There? I don't mind in Kunku, even if he comes off the bench. Yeah, because he could start. Just the, the, the way that they play against Arsenal, mm. I reckon they'll play a little bit attacking. As far as Arsenal goal scorers go, uh, I think Arsenal will score in this game. Yeah, I reckon um, it will be uh, both teams. Probably, score. yeah, Martinelli or Saka. Depends which side inverts. Because yeah. if Kukurea starts at left back yep. and inverts, that leaves a decent amount of space for, space for Saka yeah, okay. on his side. Yeah, I'd be going Saka so, if, if I'm looking at a player to score. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it will be interesting to see the lineups when they come out. Yep. And then we'll finish off uh, the game of the weekend with score predictions. What do you reckon? I'll go 1-1 one, one. One, I was going to go 2-0 I think it's going to be an awesome yeah. game one of the games of the season both teams are going to play pretty attacking because they'll want to win so yeah for sure, for sure I why think, not yeah it should be one of the best games to watch it, is that the best game of the weekend I think Liverpool and Villa play each other yeah but I was I li- genuinely really tempted to chuck that one in but Villa have just been really disappointing and mm. I reckon Liverpool are going to smash them whereas this one is a lot more even yeah, 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 you're probably right. Um, yeah. Sunday prime time as well in Bro, yeah, in, in Australia. Oh, not in Australia. Uh, 3.30. 3.30 I, every good game in the Premier League in Australia is 3.30. It's just... Oh. Who's going to wake up on a Sunday morning at 7am to watch Liverpool Villa? Oh, uh, no, not me. I'd rather... I'm going to the races. If I'm still going after the <laughs> after party at the races, I don't know. I'd rather a 3.30 game than a 7am 7, a 7 on oh, a Sunday. Nah, on nah. a Sunday. On a Sunday. Just just stay awake all night. Yeah, true. Yeah, anyway. Could do. But anyway... Let's get into it. The best part of the show, the back all lay bets, thanks to Betfair, the only place to back all lay bet on the EPL this season. Let's look at it. Last week, I don't really want to talk about last week. Don't yeah. go back and look at our tips. Oh, you can look at mine. I was, I, I got one. <laughs> I laid West Ham. Honestly, anything that goes uh, towards knots is working well at the moment. We've had a yep. few ones where we've laid against uh, knots. Keep backing knots. They're third on the like table. I said last week, if it's red, keep going red. Exactly. Yep, something like that. Uh, surprising Arsenal and Man City results have cost us a few tips lately. So yeah. Arsenal losing their last three league games. Man City on the weekend losing to Bournemouth. There was a few tips in there last mm. week. That They could have been 4-0 down. I know. Against <laughs> yeah. Bournemouth, yeah, like but, genuinely. Bournemouth, oh, they're, they've been really consistent as really? well. So, Well, they, gonna, they have now beat Arsenal and City Bournemouth. Yeah, um, true. This season, so true. you know what? They could be a cheaky chance that... The title? Top half? No. The title, <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I think they can be top half for sure, yep. but definitely not the title. All right, we'll start off with Betfair's expert tips with Tony Hargreaves. Mm. I'll do the first couple and then you do the next ones. First up, he's going to back Brentford at $2.60 for Brentford versus Bournemouth. We just talked up Bournemouth. We did. But he's going Brentford. Brentford are undefeated in the last four meetings between the two. They're undefeated in five home games this season, including mm. four wins. A lot of those home games is where they've scored the first goal like really quickly. They've got a, a few draws in there. So I, I'm almost a bit iffy on this one compared to some other yeah. ones because a draw could happen. But Brentford at home with Embuemo and a few other guys scoring goals, mm. I don't mind that at $2.60. It's a good yeah, little price I, there. I think I think Tony's leaning towards the, the home ground. Yeah, they've there. been really good at home. Four but, out of five wins. Yeah, I'm a little bit reluctant on this one just okay. because um, Brentford have conceded 20, 20 goals this I know. season. <laughs> They're just by attacking. So that's two a game. Yeah. Um, but, and, ball. and Bournemouth are... Pretty solid. Yeah. Um, they're set it's up in- really well. So, but I think, yeah, GTEC Community Stadium might pull a few yeah. strings. Yep. Don't mind that. Next one is he's going to back over two and a half goals at $1.90 for West Ham versus Everton. This one is, mm. I, don't, I really like this one. I like this because one there's just no defense between these teams. They're 14th mm. and 16th on the table. They'll play some attacking style. Both teams are conceding over 1.7 goals per game. Tony's hit the nail on the head in this one. Everton have had so many games where they've conceded three plus, yep. sorry, two plus. Uh, you got West Ham just considered three to knots. Obviously, not a third, but they're de- both these teams' defense is not good. They're both going to yep. play attacking because they want to move up the table. Mm. So over two and a half goals. Yeah, what do you reckon on that? No, I love that one. You like Dolan Arnie? Yep, can't go wrong. Yep. Uh, next two, what do you got from well, Tony? T Dog is backing both teams <laughs> to score at a dollar seventy 
in the Wolves oh. Southampton game. So a bit of a bottom table clash. Yes. Uh, coming up here. I think it actually might be 20th versus 19th. It is the bottom of the table clash. Um, but, mm. Wolves have won the past five meetings, however, although Southampton were in the championship last season. Yep. But six of the past eight have had both teams score. So that's good signs here. Yep. Um, so look, the goal difference for both teams aren't oh, very it's good. so bad. They need a score. Like, yeah. that, I actually really like this one from Tony because you go, look, they haven't met especially Southampton have had scored hardly any goals. Mm, just the seven. Just the seven in what, 10 just games? Oh, that's so bad. But they need to come out and play attacking. Yeah. And I reckon both teams will. Both teams have poor defences. Mm. They've got to come out and try and play attacking. Otherwise, they've got no chance of moving up the table. So 100%. And Molyneux as well. Uh, generally a very open game, as we saw with yep. Chelsea Wolves. Saw the same with Liverpool Wolves. Mm -hmm. Uh, can be pretty open. Yep. All right. Um, this is the biggest tip probably of the show. This is, this is, this is the one everyone's been waiting Tony for. It's a big game. Going heavy on this one. Chelsea Arsenal. He's laying someone. Who do you think he's laying stats guy? Uh, is he laying Chelsea? Is he laying Arsenal? It's is he laying Stanford the draw? Bridge, so I'm going to lean towards Arsenal. He is laying Arsenal <laughs> at $2.50. So he believes a Chelsea win or a draw is on the cards. I don't mind that. Arsenal League titles, ch chances are getting tough. We mentioned that before. Obviously, since yep. 1994, no team has come back from Seven this, down, this yep. margin um, to win the title. Yep. Both teams have identical records, win, draw, loss, points, similar goal difference as well, similar goals scored, same goals conceded, yep. I believe. So uh, I think we've conceded one more. I had a look at it before. They've got slightly better defense, and we've got uh, Chelsea's got a slightly better offense. Yes, yes. Which, uh, so it's really, really close, which it is, is funny close. because if you said this last year, you would have gone, no way uh, Chelsea and yeah, Arsenal are going to be on the same record. Yeah, bit. yeah. Um, but he's got laying Arsenal, $2.50, bit of value. Oh, I think there's good value there, yeah. Yeah, yeah why not? Is. Why not? All right, you want to roll straight into your one? you got to improve, mate. I feel like oh. out of us two, we should, I know, but we I've should been, get a I've tally going, here. I've been going more value, though. True. You've been going safe. True. Right. Last week I went safe. safe. Uh, actually, last week was Alex, not you anyway. So now I can get into it. I am going value again. Okay. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm laying a draw. So I'm going either a Nottingham Forest or a Newcastle win in that game at, at $3.55 laying the draw. So you don't want to draw. Don't okay. want to draw. Okay. Don't want to draw. Both teams' previous three results in the league in the past three weeks um, I mean, haven't been a draw yep. uh, for both sides. And the previous 16 meetings <laughs> dating back to 1996 Jeez. have seen one of these sides win. There hasn't been a draw since 1996. Before we were both sides. born. So we, were both we born. wouldn't even know. But yeah, the that. draw. So no draw. I actually don't mind that because not to have match winners yep. and Newcastle, they do. They just haven't. They do and they, they, they might have... You know, a, a bit of pride and a bit okay. of energy now that they beat Arsenal. So Yeah, true. You true. They'll be up and about. And Chelsea in the Cups. So. Yeah, don't mind that. All right, I'm finding a little bit of value. Not as much value as the $3.55, but I'm laying Crystal Palace at $2.80 for Crystal Palace versus Fulham. I like that. Palace have I been like so bad. Uh, Fulham, they're unbeaten in their last three away trips to Selhurst Park. So mm. really, really good signs there. They've both got, uh, sorry, they, both these teams have a lot of draws. Four draws and three draws for their teams respectively. But Fulham, they're up to ninth. They're mm. playing really good football. Yeah, they're playing good football. They've got Emil Smith-Rowe that's killing it. You've got mm. your Anthony Robinson's getting assist every couple of games. He yep. has been so good. I can't believe I'm saying an American in the Premier League is doing really well. It's, it's, <laughs> good, it's good signs. We haven't had one in a while. Even though Americans think Paul Sick is, yeah, Paul is the goat. Yeah. What, are they, what are the Americans call him? LeBron the, James, the soccer. The Le oh. I don't LeBron know if we've got any James. Americans watching, but come on. That is just, that is disrespectful That's to cool. LeBron. That is disrespectful to the game of football. Yep. That is <laughs> disrespectful to the Premier League. <laughs> and it's disrespectful to Pulisic because he's a good player, but don't compare him to LeBron. Yeah, anyway, uh, don't put that, that pressure on them. I feel like that could be a little clip. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think Fulham are going to get the job done here. But mm. I'm just in case, because Salos Park, for a lot of teams, isn't the easiest place to play. So you get the draw. Or the fallen win at two dollars eighty. I really like yeah, that one. Yeah, no, I love that one. I reckon that's the that's the bet of the weekend. Perfect. That's our bet fair back or lay bets. Let's have a quick break before we get into some trivia with Olivia. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover. All right, we're back for another segment. Trivia with yeah. Olivia. <laughs> Marcus versus myself. Let's go, Olivia. What have Haven't you got for us? You, you've missed a couple, missed a couple shows, actually, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going easy this week oh, because oh, you guys oh, can't don't say that. to get my <laughs> trivia questions right. So, which team won the very first Premier League title? Marcus. Oh, it's Manchester United. It was it? Correct. Oh, I didn't, even, I didn't even know that. Is yeah. that bad? Who were you going to go, Liam? I would have gone Man U or someone old like Liverpool, Everton or that. Oh, like, one of the old. That makes sense, though. Manchester United won... Uh, 
Well, the, Liverpool haven't won a title in the Premier League era, except for when they won. Oh, yeah, what am I talking about? No, definitely not Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. United won 13 titles. There we most. go. Mark is all over it. I absolutely cooked it. Thanks, Olivia. That was, that was good. We got a bit of uh, ball knowledge over Very there. easy. Bit of ball knowledge. Bit, pretty easy. All right, we're going to finish off the show. Quick fire tips. EPL Match Week 11 predictions. I'll read them out and then we'll go through them. First one. The powerhouse clash. Oh, the powerhouse bottom of the clash. Table. Bottom of the table. The six pointer. <laughs> the six. It is a six pointer. Is this the match of the weekend? Uh, no. uh, uh, relegation <laughs> is arguably. It's too early more, to have relegation. More excited. detrimental to a club than being in a title race. Well, I know what you're saying, but it's only match week 11. If, if it was oh, match no. week 36. Well, Southampton are down anyways. So. Yeah, you, know, probably. you know, no club has ever come up out of the promoter teams. Yeah. All three have never stayed safe. Stayed safe. Oh, like, so at yeah. least one of them have been really? relegated. Really? Never, never? Never. Never. So there's always one issue. that gets relegated again. There's always one. Okay, there you go. What's at your least. tip? Wolves versus Southampton. Wolves. Yeah, you got to go look, Wolves, I think. I, yeah. I don't think they're as bad as the table suggests, yeah, even though they've conceded a load of goals. I think <laughs> it's like 27 or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, Southampton are even worse than at Molyneux. Easy with Wolves stuff. Yeah, I reckon I reckon as well. Maybe like a, even like a 3-0. Their, their team isn't that mm. bad. They've, yeah. they've played a lot of really good teams. Next one, West Ham versus Everton, 14th versus 16th. We're just we're slowly going up the table here. Hey, this is rough. This is rough. Everton aren't that bad, and West Ham shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I know. So I'm I so know. confused with this match. Uh, no kudos as well. I think got a four, five game suspension oh, for, the, for the, the whole Tottenham debacle oh, no. when he went all WWE on, on Van der Ven. Yeah, good on you. And Richarlison. Well, bring back the biff. Um, you know what? I'm going to go a draw. I love a draw. Oh. So I'll go a draw. Uh, I'm going West Ham. I, I yeah. jinxed them last season. I, they should be better. So come on, West Ham. Do, be do something about it. Your team's not that bad. Brentford versus Bournemouth. This is a really tricky one. Tony's going Brentford. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm actually going to go Bournemouth. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I'm actually going to go Bournemouth. I'm anymore. back in uh, T Dog, as you call him. Brentford. T-Dog. I'm going to go them at G Tech Community Stadium. Yep. Next one Crystal Palace versus Fulham. Ooh. I reckon. Fulham. Yeah. I'm going Fulham as well. Leaning towards Fulham. They're this might be up the, to ninth. They're not that far off, yeah. like, yeah, the higher parts of the table, so I'm mm. going to go Fulham. Uh, Brighton versus Man City. This is actually a tricky one. Oh, my God. Because Brighton have been really strong against Man City at uh, the, the Amex. Yeah. And Man City have looked so bad the last three, three weeks. Three losses on the trot, all in different competitions. Yeah. Two weeks, sorry. Um, you'd expect them to bounce back, but I'm mm. actually going to go another draw here. I want to see the points, points shared. Do I go Brighton? Yeah, yeah why not? Go on, come, I'm going Brighton. come on, the Seagulls. Come on, let's go. Such a scary mascot. Uh, <laughs> actually, the Seagulls over over there are very scary and big. That's a, that's another story. Ooh. Liverpool versus Aston Villa. Easy one. Oh, I reckon well, it's an easy it one. It should be Liverpool. Aston Villa have just been so up Aston and down. Aston Villa yeah. have been... Uh, there's also been a mixed bag of results when these teams play against each other. See, yes. It wasn't that long ago when Aston Villa beat Liverpool 7-1. 7-1, 7-2. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, um, that? that was at Villa Park. And I think they that? still had Jack Grealish then, back then. But, oh, bring him back. Uh, look, I'm sorry to do it to you, but I'm going to go another draw. <laughs> How are you picking this a draw? I'm going to go another draw. Jeez, oh, talking about value on Betfair, that would be paying a lot, that draw. Uh, I'm going Liverpool. They will smoke them. They're too good at the moment. Arne mm. Slot is working his magic. He is. Man United versus Leicester City. This is an, It shouldn't be a tricky one. These two teams played each other recently, didn't they, in the Cup? Uh, possibly. United won 4-2. Yes, uh, Leicester played their C team. Yeah, they, their game. team was horrible. I don't know what Leicester And United thinking. were decently strong. So 5-2 in the end. But 5-2. It was because Leicester didn't have a good team. Yeah, look, I'm still going to go I'm still gonna go Manchester United. Yeah. Man U, they looked okay on the weekend. They got yeah. a new uh, interim manager. Like, the, just the vibes at Old Trafford with Rudner Van der Stoor in the dugout is just a little bit... Yeah, it's a little bit nicer. It's a little rather bit better, than people it? booing ten. <laughs> it's sort of the perfect storm, I think. Yep, I agree. I'm going mm. Manu as well. Notts Forest versus Newcastle. I reckon we might disagree. I gotta go. We spoke, we spoke on this one. We did. Notts, their third. Chris Wood is the goat. He mm. is the New Zealand legend. Get around him. I'm going against you. Oh, I'm going to go Newcastle. I'm going to go the opposite Jeez. end. Jeez, um, even though we're, they're away, I they've just been think, so bad. I just think Notts are due to for a loss. I think they've only lost one game this season. It was yep. against Fulham. I believe. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go Newcastle. I just yeah, think tails enough. up after Arsenal. They, yeah, that was really good against win. the Cup against Chelsea. Mm-hmm. So, why not? Why not? All right. Uh, next one, Tottenham versus Ipswich Town. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's a Tottenham home game. I think There's going to be goals in this because both teams are going to play their football. Oh, they play attacking football. And they're both uh, very good on the break. As yes. Well. I think Tottenham has scored the most goals in the league. With have they? I think so. I will double check that, with, but that, uh, that is a good 22, little... 22, I believe. Uh, you are correct. That is yeah. crazy. And they're seventh. That's wild. 
Yeah, but if Switch now had to score a couple of goals, I wouldn't be surprised mm-hmm. if this is 4-2. I'm going Tottenham as well. Yep. Then the big one, we already touched on it. Chelsea versus Arsenal. This is the, well, this is the only draw I've predicted. We both predicted a draw, so... I, I'm happy with a draw. I reckon, that, I reckon that'll be a really good game. High yeah. scoring. Um, make sure to check the lineups as well, because that'll be interesting. Mm. Cole Palmer. Rice is questionable. Uh, Odegaard should be back, but will he start? Rice might be back. Havertz. Trossard didn't play well this morning. Is he going to start? Mm. Mikel Marino might be concussed. You, you don't know, so... Yeah. Don't mind uh, it. Modric, your man might play. Well, oh, he better come <laughs> off the bench at least. Yeah, he might. Uh, I want to see that man in action. Nice. All right, that was our quick fire tips. I'm calling it. That's the final whistle for the Football Today show brought to you by Betfair, who are on your side this EPL season. Check out a lot of the fun videos we're doing across the socials. Like I said, EPL numbers, there's lots of little games. It's all that. There's, there's a lot of stuff on the socials. And then make sure you subscribe to the YouTube and get around it on all the podcasts. I think that's it. Thank you very much to Gerald and Olivia behind the camera. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you, Stas Guy. Thank you for thank you me. No worries. Any, any time. time. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. I forgot <laughs> about that. Anyway, there's another episode of Football Today done. We're out. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.